yard. I'm a cattle rancher in Little Shasta outside of Montague, California. This ranch has been in our family since 1852. I'm the fifth generation, born with my wife and my daughter, that we own and manage this place. We're here on this property. Yes, it's the ranch, it's the Hart Ranch, but we've been blessed with this since the 1800s. We're, we've been the, the caretakers, if you will. We humans are just a, just a little microcosm of, of the big, and to make this work, we want to leave this place in better condition than when we came. The 4,500-acre Hart Ranch is blessed with an abundance of cold, nutrient-rich spring water that is critical for the survival of salmon and steelhead in the Little Shasta River. The problem is that most of this water gets diverted downstream for agriculture, which dries up the stream at critical times of the year when salmon and steelhead need it most. We were approached by the Harts over a year ago to help them implement a large project on their ranch here in the Little Shasta Valley. The goal of the project is to improve water use efficiencies and to be able to restore flows back to the Little Shasta to improve habitat for salmon and steelhead, while at the same time making sure that we balance the livestock needs for water with other wildlife needs as well. If we're going to do something substantial for the restoration of these anadromous resources, then we all start to need to think a little more collectively towards co-equal goals. Co-equal goals meaning that we recognize that ranching is a legitimate use of the landscape. Ranchers hopefully also recognize that the value of these natural resources are important to Californians. We know how to grow cows, but we don't know how to grow fish. But we're going to learn. Our vision is to reconnect over 10 miles of salmon and steelhead habitat in the Little Shasta River by putting cold spring water back in the stream. Our strategy is to provide landowners with incentives to improve water efficiency and habitat conditions. One key incentive for irrigators is to reduce their regulatory burden and liability under the Endangered Species Act in exchange for meaningful improvements in water management. The other important piece of this project is we're really using science to be able to drive the management decisions of the Hart Ranch with respect to how they irrigate and how they manage their livestock. We're standing next to the Little Shasta River where we're doing some research to try and understand how it can help recover coho and sustain land use in the basin. What we're doing is implementing a monitoring program where we're just trying to understand how can you support fish in this area and what do you need to support fish in this area. This is one of the most productive river systems in the entire Klamath Basin. So if you improve conditions in the Shasta River for salmon and steelhead, you're improving conditions in the entire Klamath Basin. Agriculture in the Shasta Valley is a major economic driver. We get that and we want to work with landowners directly. We want to provide the incentives that they need to restore habitat. Even though water issues in Northern California are extremely complex, they're certainly not unresolvable. And the Hearts are a great example of a landowner who wants to do the right thing. And groups like Caltrout and the Nature Conservancy can come to the table and provide the technical capacity they need to improve water efficiency so we can put water back in the stream and restore these coho streams in the Mid-Klamath Basin. I can't fathom Hart's never owning this piece of property and trying to manage it so that it's set up in the future so that when Susan and I are no longer here that my daughter will be able to carry on with the ranch. It's just like raising a baby calf or raising baby spawning fish. They need a habitat that's nurturing and alive. And it's our responsibility to take care of this property just like we would a baby calf or a horse. It's a big responsibility. And it, at the same time, it's very gratifying to know that you're gonna save that for generations to come. At least my philosophy, and I know it's Susan and Alex's philosophy too, is that you're here to take care of this piece of property, to make it better than it was when you received it. 
so that everything prospers here. To me, that's, that's the most valuable thing there is out here. The Nature Conservancy and California Trout are not the only entities working on this big project. This project wouldn't be possible without a large group of NGOs, state and federal agencies, and landowners really making it happen. How can we collaboratively do better for these fish and wildlife resources that are important to so many people, recognizing that these folks need to make a living too? So how do we assure that? And this is where you know, the talent and the skills of all this large number of people have to come together so that we can figure this stuff out in the most equitable and fair way moving forward. The work we're doing with the hearts out here, we hope can be used as a model to others throughout the West around how to solve complex issues where we want to continue to support the economic viability of our working landscapes, while at the same time really balancing the needs of our fish and wildlife. If everyone, all of us, each neighbor could do their little piece and we could connect all the pieces, we would have it. It's not difficult. And we feel that we need to start that neighborly connection. We need to put the land, its resources first for the next generation. And we have an opportunity to do that, to make it right, to, to better it, to enhance it.